Like someone's moving this thing again. Or am I paranoid? Alright. Man. I look awful. I really gotta work on this. I mean, I got the sunburn. I don't know if you can. Am I sunburned? I don't know if I came more red than normal. If you can see the back of my leg, I stood in long lines. Oh, I'm not flexible enough to look. Oh, you can't see it. So I did a lot of standing with my back to the sun. And of course, the backs of your legs are even wider than the fronts of your legs. So I have this just that hot, stabby, itchy sunburn uh, right behind my uh, shin, in my shin muscle. Uh, that's, let's see, that's the quad, so that's the calf. Calf is what it is. I can still remember words. I'm not that old. Did we get the lighting? Okay. Hi, it's 7.30. 7.30, oh my goodness. I must have had an involuntary nap in there somewhere because 7.30. I didn't actually realize how late it was until I heard the air conditioner kicking off at 7.27 and I was like, oh. You can't hear it probably, but it's just this big rumble that kind of just goes throughout when the air just stops moving. I don't know how this saves so many money, but I don't run buildings, so. Uh, it's Tuesday because I took Monday off. It was glorious. I slept in. I sat in front of the TV watching the Olympics all day. Which cut out on the promise I was going to make to Otto. After Friday's video, when I said I was going to be off Monday and there wouldn't be a video, he commented on YouTube, my Monday won't complete without a CRZ video. In my mind, I was thinking, well... I'll drive to Otto's estate, I'll knock on the door, when he answers, I'll ramble on for 10 minutes without letting him get a word in edgewise, and then I'll turn around and leave. It'll be just like a video. This didn't happen because I forgot I was going to do it, and I was compelled to watch the Olympics pretty much nonstop. In my defense, that women's soccer match was very, very fun to watch, because I am an American and not a Canadian. Oh my god. Have you ever heard Canadians whine? You have not heard them whine like you heard them whine last night. Oh, the ref's in the pocket. Oh, bias. Oh, you weren't supposed to win anyway, Canada. What was supposed to happen happened. America won. And now we're going to play for the gold medal. I'm not. We're not. Well, America is, but America in the form of the women's soccer team playing Japan on Thursday. We hope that they win. And somebody linked one of those stories. Was it Cubs? Uh, I can't remember now. But the AP story about how they got that controversial call by Abby basically standing next to the ref and just counting off seconds repeatedly. And then finally one of those calls, we got it. And that's what led to the handball. Again, kind of iffy, but kind of not and led to the goal. I mean, you still got to be talented enough to put it in the goal, right? What a game. I really only watched from about the second half on, but when in, it was... Hmm, I think it was 2-1 when I really started paying attention. And I was really excited when it was 2-2. And then I was really unexcited. No, I think I saw the 1-1 tie as well. I don't know. It was so long, you forget how when you started by the time it ended. One thing that really annoyed me was they kept saying 122nd minute, and I'm pretty sure it was 123rd minute, because from 0 to 59 seconds, that's not the 0th minute, is it? I would call it the first minute. But I'm not soccer savvy enough to say I'm completely right and they're completely wrong, although I feel like I'm right. And that's really what's most important in life, on Twitter, 
making comments on web posts. You gotta feel that you're correct. And feel with absolute certainty that whoever you're arguing with is wrong, even if they're complete strangers. Because with your conviction, you will sway their opinion and change their mind. It's kind of like um, a Twitter feed I was watching last night. Was it last night or Sunday night? I don't know. The, the problem with the guy who shot up everybody on Sunday at the, at the, the temple. I've learned now you're supposed to say sick and not seek, even though most people won't think a different word when you say sick and not S-I-K-H. But all those movies conditioned me to say seek. But I'll say sick. I knew some things uh, when I worked my very first tech support job, which was computer lab at UCR back in the early 90s when nobody knew what the internet was, but UCR was on it. But college is good for exposing you to diversity. What was my point? My point was Circle back, circle back. It was one of those things where people were competing to be the most empathetic. And look, I don't think any of us are in favor of people going and shooting up Sikh temples. Sikh temples, sorry. It's, it's, I'm conditioned. I will decondition myself. Nobody is on the side of the guy who does all the killing. Well, a very small insane portion, maybe with the serial killer, or the mass murderer, or whatever you want to call him. But, you know, really obvious stuff, I mean, it's, it's kind of like tweeting, I'm a big fan of breathing air. I'm a big fan of drinking water, even though I do say hydrate an awful lot during, on Twitter. It's like, you know, good for you, you're against uh, this kind of activity. Bravo, well done. I hope uh, all your followers think, wow, took a really brave stand there. I'm glad I'm following that guy. And somehow I ended up getting into it with Kevin Marshall, who I hope doesn't watch these, but... I suspect might because he made a very trenchant uh, comeback to me when I made fun of him for what he'd said. And he was one of the people who said something about white folks and calling them terrorists and, I don't know, something, something, something. Whatever it was, it was like, yeah, fine, let's move on. And I didn't really pay much attention to it. But he did another tweet that caught my eye, and it was, uh, did my laundry, now folding it. Is this the kind of thing you're interested in Twitter? Or something like, words to that effect. And sufficiently trolled, and with my sensor off, I tweeted back, well, it's slightly more interesting than your brave stand against people who are shooting up temples, or something to that effect. And then he came back with, you're right. I should have uh, put it in a 15-minute video where I mumble and play with my hair. Good comeback. You know, he is a comedian, so he's used to being heckled. Ask him about uh, being heckled sometime, though. Even if you're saying rape jokes, you can't heckle. That's what I've learned. Man, I've gone on a lot of tangents there. The point is, it's now 7.38. 82 degrees outside, by the way. It got hot, I think. I'm a little scared to go home. Not only because it might be hot there, but because it's national night out, and I'm trying to avoid uh, my neighborhood potluck. I have great neighbors who leave me alone. So I don't really feel like I need to want to meet them, and they don't need to meet me. They can always talk to me while I'm mowing the lawn, but the lawnmower is very noisy. What was my point? Something about Kevin Marshall. Uh, I love you, Kevin. I'm so glad that you're uh, flourishing in your careers, and uh, although you're much more popular than me now, you will still deign to talk to me when I heckle you. Doubt that he got all the way through the 10 minutes to find that out, but uh, one of y'all can tell him. I'm going to fix the magnets tomorrow, or try to. Uh, we'll also get this week going. My time is up. Uh, so, uh, 
I'll tell you where the Timberwolves went to. Actually, they're right here. But I think I'm going to take them home. <sighs> Under 90 days to opening day. Okay. Thanks for watching. I'm going to wash my hair. And see you tomorrow.